Astros win game four of the ALCS, eight to three. So they take a 3 1 series lead. Four errors for the Yankees, leading to three unearned runs and an uneven night all around for the Yanks. Yeah, we talked in the pregame show with the Yankees having their backs against the wall. How would they respond in this game? And they did not respond well. Again, not getting the job done with runners in scoring position. You mentioned the four errors, a very sloppy game defensively. But some of the big time performers for the Yankees didn't show up tonight. Tanaka was not great. Glaber Torres had a rough night. Couple errors, 0 for 5 at the plate, a strikeout in the fifth in a big spot. And then Chad Green, who's been so good, giving up a home run. So it's kind of some of the guys who have been struggling during the postseason and some of the guys who have been performing had bad nights. Yeah, deflating loss and exasperating loss for all the things that you just said, John. The Yankees knew the stakes coming into this game. If this wasn't a must-win game, it was about as close to a must-win game as you could get. And they end up playing one of their worst games in a a long time for all the reasons that you just pointed out. The Astros had a couple of big three-run homers in this game from Springer and Correa, but the Yankees in the first inning had their own opportunity with Grinky on the ropes, bases loaded. They ended up having the bases loaded twice, the first inning and the fifth inning, and they managed one run in those two situations. As John said, missed opportunities. 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position, 10 left on base. And going into a series where a lot of people thought the Yankees had a decided edge in the bullpen, it's sure. actually been tilted toward the Astros. Yeah, I think of the fifth inning with Presley getting the big strike out of Glaber Torres and Encarnacion. I, I thought the Yankees would be able to get a big swing against some of the middle guys in the bullpen for Houston, but they got got the job done. I mean, you know, Gary Sanchez has that two-run home run. You get back in the game, you're thinking maybe we have something. The rest of their bullpen got it done. The Astros' bullpen has neutralized the Yankee offense. Other than that, Sanchez home run off James. I mean, Harris has pitched well. Presley has pitched well. Osuna has always pitched well against the Yankees in his career, and he came in and got the final four out. So the Astros look like a team on a mission tonight. They look like a team that said, we're trying to end this series early. We do not want this series to go back to Houston. So now if you're the Yankees, you have to figure out a way to keep this series alive. At the end of the broadcast, I thought John Smoltz said it best. You're just trying to survive for another day if you're the Yankees. You're trying to get the next game and take it back to Houston. With all the negatives that we're talking about, and we haven't even talked about CC Sabathia walking off the mound, obviously with a hurt shoulder. He was limping a little bit. I mean, that was just the, the most painful thing you can see as a Yankee fan. Everything that he has done in his career, trying to give the Yankees Yankees one last moment and he has to walk off the field with a look like a major arm injury. We knew that CC Sabathia was going to have a final moment presumably. He's told everyone he was going to retire but a player slash pitcher wants to be able to dictate his own terms and there it is and not only walking off flash but walking off with tears in his eyes putting the glove over his face. CC would have loved to have ended it getting it out, getting a strikeout, getting a pop out, not having his body just give up on him. I mean, this is a guy who right till the end was fighting to try and get more outs for the Yankees, but his body gave up on him at the end.